Hi guys and gals. So let me ask you a question. For you G and Z owners out there, specifically 03 to 06, I'm not sure if this has happened to any of the newer ones, but do you have this? Six feet manual, obviously. You ever have that happen to you? Clutch pedal not returning it to you fully? Well, don't go buying new parts just yet because there is an easy, simple solution and fix before you decide to buy either a slave or a master cylinder. So down underneath, you have the clutch pedal, obviously, and you have the linkage. So, dang it, hate working on these damn cars. There's your linkage, right there, with the cotter pin. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take that out, take the cotter pin and the pin out, and that's just a little fork that goes onto the actual clutch pedal itself. At the end of that fork is you're gonna find a nut and another nut on the opposite side, and you're gonna loosen it up and you're gonna twist out that fork a couple turns at a time. Reinsert that pin and give your clutch pedal another try and another feel to see if it returns back to normal. I'll let you know in a little bit. Okay. So what I ended up doing was I ended up taking the whole bracket out for the clutch assembly. There's two bolts in the firewall and one bolt going up to the dash. They're all 12 millimeters to undo the fork that goes into the clutch master. I turned it out five turns, reinserted the pin, reinserted the cotter pin, and now I have full clutch pedal again. No more of that tink, 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 tink stuff. Full clutch pedal. Comes back to full resting position. I only took it all out because I didn't like the rust. So I sanded it down, spray painted it black, primed it, put it back together, lubed up the spring, make sure the sensors were good. And now we got a fully working clutch bell again. Diesel bumpers. Diesel bumpers. You dumbass.